Welcome to Cardamone Law University, translating the Pennsylvania Workers' Compensation Act into plain English for injured workers. It's Mike Cardamone here. Today I want to discuss injuries caused by intoxication. Now, this is a defense that your employer and their insurance carrier would use as a possibility to um, deny your claim, not accept liability for it. And the Workers' Comp Act in Pennsylvania excludes from coverage injuries that result from the illegal use of drugs or that would not have occurred but for the intoxication of the employee. Now remember, the, the cause of intoxication may not be limited to alcohol. It could be another substance. Um, and it arises, the intoxication defense for the employer's it arises even when a concomitant violation of law does not occur. So you have to be careful with this. And what's the standard here? Well, it's a but for uh, burden of proof. In other words, um, expert testimony that the employee's severe intoxication was a major and very substantial contributing factor to the injury was deemed legally sufficient to meet the but for standard of causation. And remember that you don't have to use magic words. Um, that's not required for the finder of fact, which is the workers' comp judge, to be convinced that the testimony satisfies the burden of proof. And remember, it is the employer who has this burden of proof. Um, so you need to be on the lookout for this if you're an injured worker. Now, if you're an injured worker and you're intoxicated and you're injured because a machine that you're working on malfunctioned or wasn't designed properly then it's going to be impossible uh, for your employer to prove that uh, the intoxication caused the work injury to, to meet that but for um, uh, burden. So just because you're intoxicated, and we are not recommended that you be intoxicated at work, but just so you know the law, if you are intoxicated, but it doesn't contribute in a substantial way to the injury, then that's not a viable defense. Um, now, you may get in trouble for it. Maybe there's a handbook that says you're not allowed to be drinking on the job. Um, they might try to you know, terminate you for cause, things like that. However, it's not a viable defense to whether a work injury occurred or not. So make sure you understand that distinction. If you have any questions about this or any other aspects of the Pennsylvania Workers' Comp Act, Always feel free to call us. We represent injured workers. It's 100% of our practice. We don't represent employers or insurance companies. Our phone number is 215-206-9068. And online, it's cardamonelaw.com. That's C-A-R-D-A-M-O-N-E-L-A-W.com. And, of course, you can email me directly. That's michael at cardamonelaw.com. Dot com if you want any information. And remember, it's a contingent fee system. You don't have to pay anything out of your pocket. We only get paid if there's a court order. We would only have a court order if we want a petition in your case uh, or if we settled your case. So it's a really nice system, and people who don't have attorneys should get them as soon as possible. You'll double or triple your money uh, in almost every case. So uh, thanks for listening. That's all for now from Cardamone Law University.